fellow JCs from around these here United States of America, welcome to another edition of JCTV. My name, as usual, is Matt Chastain. I'll let you know if that changes. And I'm incredibly happy to have this opportunity to share with you just a few of the happenings in and around the JC world. You know what though, we've got a lot of great stuff to cover, including a chapter spotlight involving mud volleyball. It ain't mud wrestling, but hey, it'll do. I say we go ahead and dive right in. Every year, JCI members from around the world unite by geographic region for the JCI area conferences. At these regional meetings, members exchange ideas, learn how to maximize their local impact, and collaborate with other national organizations in their area. Members address international issues and help grow their commitment to being socially responsible leaders. Now, this year's conference will be held May 1st through 4th at the Renaissance Hotel in downtown St. Louis. St. Louis, for those of you who don't know why I say St. Louis, I don't either. Hey, you know what? You should go. It's open to all members. It's uh, going to be an incredible experience. Lots of training, lots of networking opportunities with JCs from all over. And hey, there's a JCI USA night held at Bush Stadium, of course, home to the St. Louis Cardinals. I'm a Braves fan, but yet I would really love to see that stadium. It's a beautiful place. You can, of course, register at the JCI webpage. We'll list this event's direct link uh, into the area below the YouTube. Well, actually, Katie doesn't know that yet, but she's always willing to do whatever it takes to make your lives easier. So, hey, Katie, if you don't mind, please throw that link right here below. Now, with it being the new year and everyone's starting to gear up for tax time, it's a pretty good time to talk, well, as good time as any, to talk about some financial issues in our chapters. Hey, but don't worry. This is going to be one of those fun and interesting talks about taxes and chapter finances because we have joining us today Mrs. Sarah Vaught, USJC's national treasurer, who herself is a national treasure. Sarah, thank you so much for being with us today on JCTV. Now, I wanted to begin by asking you if you have any advice for our local and state chapters on dealing with the often complex tax issues surrounding running their chapters. It can often be quite a challenge for any volunteer organization. It definitely can be a challenge, and it's important to make sure that you try and stay on top of your finances, going through bills on a regular basis and making sure that you're making keeping on contact and on top of all of those uh, payments out, but also making sure that you're collecting dues from your members so that you can pay those bills. Now, do you find a lot of chapters work really hard to raise money for different charities and, and charitable initiatives, yet run out of time and to, and to focus their energy on their own chapters fundraising? I've heard stories like that from a lot of different chapters. And that's so true. I think a lot of chapters really do forget about that piece that, while yeah, you do want to do a lot of good out in the community, there's still the bills that need to be paid if you have rent for your meeting spaces or just having socials and incentives for your membership. Um, but really making sure that you're paying attention to the big picture and not just all the good that you're doing out in the community. I want to make sure I'm pronouncing it correctly. It is National, Tre oh, National Treasurer and National Treasurer, Miss Sarah Vaught, not Voight, right? You're not related to John Voight. I'm not related to the uh, actor and uh, director. Well, you're better looking than he is anyway. Sarah, <laughs> thanks. thanks so much for joining us on JCTV today. Thank you. So, you think you're a civic leader, huh? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Actually, if you're a JC, odds are you are indeed a civic leader, but we can always improve, right? A great way to do that is through Civic Leadership Certification, otherwise known as CLC. The national, or this provides the national organization and the respective state organizations with an assessment of the services that each chapter provides its members. Chapters following the guidelines outlined in the CLC are healthy chapters that will prosper and grow. That's just the facts, folks. That's the way it works. All chapters achieving certification will be recognized at the annual meeting, but the real reward, the real reward, is in the knowledge that your chapter is serving its civic duty to the highest standard. Okay, so now for one of my favorite parts of our time here together today, the Chapter Spotlight. This week, JCTV highlights the Hobart JCs of Indiana. They're hard at work preparing for their fifth annual Mud Volleyball Tournament. Mud Volleyball, that's fun. This tournament began as a fundraiser for two children's charities, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and Riley Children's Hospitals. It's camp called About Face. Both charities are in constant need for funds and both benefit not only children in local communities, but also across the state and the country. The Hobart JCs have donated over $15,000 in the last two years and are hoping to raise at least $10,000 this year alone. This year's Mud Volleyball Tournament will be held on August 3rd and 4th, and, uh, 3rd and 4th in Hobart, Indiana at the Hobart Rugby Field. 
They're anticipating having over 60 teams playing in the two-day event. There are going to be live bands, food, and a beer garden to keep players and spectators uh, entertained, shall we speak. Uh, it's a spectacular event and a great way to raise money for two worthy causes. Camp About Face does some amazing work, and my friends, I'm here to tell you that when cancer is cured, there's a good chance it'll happen in Memphis, Tennessee on the St. Jude campus. Well, folks, that is just about enough out of me. Uh, tune in next week. It'll be an amazing episode when uh, USJC Executive Director Joel Harper and I arm wrestle to determine which one of us gets the last donut. Now, let's get out there and change the world. Till next time.